guys, this is a short tutorial here on how to make digital art um, that anybody can do. I, for one, am not an artist. I wouldn't consider myself an artist. And to the people that actually are uh, talented in that area, it actually might, <laughs> might make you a little mad when I show you this. But in my opinion, it's still fun to do for just the average person here, like myself. See, we have a picture of Steph Curry here. This is the original image, obviously. And then this was my final product. It's not that bad, as you can see. I uh, ignore my stupid signature there. But anyways, as you can see, it's not that bad at all, considering, like I said, I'm not an artist. Um, I'm just your average person that draws stick figures. And what I did here, this is just a quick tutorial. You open up the original image, and then you create a new layer. Uh, this is it's going to be this button down here. Just hit new layer, and then it will create this new layer. And make sure this layer is highlighted. It's highlighted lighter gray here. And then what you do is just basically paint over it, and you would use the color picker tool and pick any spot on the face and then use the brush now what you want to do here is you want to zoom in I'm gonna show you guys the LeBron James edit I'm currently working on cuz I'm, I'm only like a third done if not even a third more like a quarter done so basically this is how much I have painted so far and I have both images uh, where they appear and I had the, the layer one here highlighted. So what you want to do is zoom in. I like to zoom in to 700%. Uh, it might vary depending on what resolution your computer is. And then you use the color picker tool. And say I want to paint uh, the cat, the logo here. And I'll pick this reddish brown color. And then I'll go over the paint tool. And then I'll just paint on the lettering here. Now, this will take a while, uh, no doubt. But anybody can do it. If I can do it, definitely everybody can do it. And then you just keep doing that. I'll um, click the background here. See, you see my little selection here. And this is how this looks uh, zoomed up. Even this close, it really doesn't look bad at all, I must admit. Um, and then when you zoom out, this is what you get here. So that's pretty much it. There's really only a couple tools you need to know about. Now I will say though, when you're done with this, you want to kind of blend these colors in so it doesn't look too um, unrealistic. And that can be done with the smudge tool. And that's what I did with the Steph Curry. I kind of blend these together. Because originally they did kind of look like uh, patchy, like the LeBron James drawing. But over time I realized, hey, I should use a smudge tool. It'll look a lot better. So that's what I did. And like I said, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Um, and the reason I said that some artists that are actually talented in this area, or this field, would get maybe a little upset is because all I'm really doing is just tracing the actual picture. Um, but in my opinion, you still need to have some some talent, some definitely some patience to be able to do this. Not everybody can just uh, spend 10 hours uh, going pixel by pixel, picking out each color, and then painting over it. And it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, I use a mouse. That's semi hard uh, people with laptops it's gonna be much more difficult with just the keypad uh, obviously if you have like an iPad and like a pen um, that would probably be the best but yeah so it's not too hard it's not um, it's not the easiest thing to do obviously but I believe if I can do it everybody can do it it just takes you're gonna have to have patience and honestly, I think the final outcome's, uh, it's definitely worth it, I think. So that's all, everyone. Um, 
if you leave a comment in the description below and I'll try to answer every question I can.